could be in the southern hemisphere we could be in the northern hemisphere i'm not entirely sure hi and uh, welcome to another daily challenge video yes i had two very good rounds in czech republic and in uh, thailand however my rounds in guatemala germany and bulgaria uh, were a bit too far away so i ended up with a silver score a good silver score of uh, 32,300 points so I'm going to jump straight into round one, see if I can go back up to a gold score today. So let's see what we get. Okay, so we look to be in Italy. Uh, yeah, in Millionaire City, apparently. So let's have a look. It's quite sunny here. You know what is? I mean, they look like Italian plates. Uh, yes, it's definitely Italy. For a second, it could be in uh, Albania, but no, uh, this is definitely Italy. Yeah, so let's see if I can find anything on the uh, road signs that indicates where this is. Yeah, it's Seven and Kwani Airport. Uh, okay, we have. Uh, let's see so to the uh, south we have rome latina which is also beside rome we have naples also to um, to the south so let's just have a look uh so where command airport is rome is there latina is there naples Further to the south. So let's just see what we have in the other direction. Maybe we should go down to the station and see see if we have a town name. Should have put a checkpoint down, really. But mind. Latina Scalo is where we are. The Latina Scalo is here. Just have a look to see where we started. East, West. I think we started around here somewhere. I was a bit further up but i was close enough to get the perfect score so uh, managed to get there in the last second so that's good so i'm happy with that that's a very good start I, I don't often get perfect scores in italy right so we have a bit of cyrillic here have a look just gonna see if i can see the license plate so it's quite possible we are in Russia. Gelivka. Not sure where that is. I don't think I can go down there because. I'm sure there are some road signs there that could tell me where this is. But I, I don't see a blue EU tag on it. Uh, that's a 478. I don't know if that's a kilometer mark or not. Let's just have a look uh, to see if there's anything else down here. How do 
the junction here. Actually, looking at this one, uh, I think I can see a blue and yellow. So that means that we are in Ukraine and not in uh, not in Russia. So I'll put my market in in Ukraine. if that's uh, as the same number as we had in the last one no it doesn't so that's a kilometer marker so that number doesn't really help But I'm going to leave my marker around here and hope uh, I'm in the right area. Yeah, not too far away. So it's a bit closer to Elviv. Uh, we were on the E40. So pretty good round in, in Ukraine. I've, I've had a round in Ukraine for a very, very long time. So um, I'm, I'm glad I managed to... Uh, Realize it, it was not Russia and it was actually Ukraine. Uh, anyway, next round. Uh, let's see. So we have the sun more, more or less to the west. I think this might be somewhere in South America. But I'm not entirely sure. I can see there's a black Google car as well. But I can't really remember which country that could be. I think that could be several countries. Looking at this train line as well. I don't know, it's quite flat. I mean, there's also a possibility that we are somewhere in, in Africa as well. But we're driving on the right at least. But we have a speed limit sign that Again, not entirely sure. Let's have a look here. Uh, Mulamana. Uh, that sounds. It, it doesn't. It doesn't sound uh, Spanish. It sounds more more African, like somewhere something uh, you would see in. Uh, South Africa or similar, but we we are driving on the right, so I think still that we are most likely in South America. And then we have some Spanish here now, so definitely in South America. Chichon. Well, to be honest, I don't know which country this is at all. I think, uh, based on the scenery and also based on the fact that I don't really recognize anything, I think I might go... Uh, uh, Bolivia, uh, because I haven't had many rounds in Bolivia, and and I can't really recognize anything. Yeah, we'll see in a second. 
Oh, this is all the way to the north of uh, northern part of Colombia. So uh, it's an area I've I haven't really had many rounds. I, I think I've seen it mentioned in uh, in streams and uh, other videos that this area can look like this. Um, but I haven't had any rounds there before. I think. Uh, and I didn't see any yellow number place either. So uh, that's why I didn't go to Colombia. So not a good score uh, again in South America. All right, this one is a tough one as well. Like we can't go any further that way, so we can only go uphill. And we can't go any further that way either. Okay, so uh, let's see what we can see. First of all, looks like the sun is. Possibly to the north. Get some better, uh, better shadows. Have a look. More or less to the west. This is a Google car I don't recognize. The silver car. The trees there, I mean, we have a lot of uh, coniferous trees. Boss, they don't really look European, I think. There's something off. It makes them look. Not European. Also, the red soil is a bit, it's strange. The sun's position as well. But having said that, uh, the sun is, is fairly high up and it's towards the northwest. It could be in the southern hemisphere, we could be in the northern hemisphere. I'm not entirely sure. I, I'm going to make a guess and I might be completely wrong. I, I can't remember seeing this car before. I'm going to go somewhere. South America, but I don't really know. This could be anywhere. Okay, yes. Oh, this was Bhutan. So, oh, not a good round at all. And let's see, final round. I won't actually be able to get a silver score uh, even today. So, started off with a perfect score, and now we've. Uh, Gone to a zero. Uh, let's just have a look at this. So we have some more Cyrillic. Okay, we are back in Ukraine. I don't have enough to UA. And this is a fairly big city. Go on to this motorway and have a look.
We have a sign. I'm guessing we are in Kiev. We can see signs of Lutimor, Elviv, and Ovo. Exactly where exactly where we are, I'm not sure. But yeah, yes, we were in Kiev and uh, very good score. So uh, that was a uh, um I'll say a daily challenge in cotton and contrast. So start off with a perfect score on eight of eight. Two very good rounds in Ukraine and an awful rounds in South America and Iran. So uh, uh, not even a simple score this time. It was a uh, bronze score, and I haven't had one of those for a long time. So hopefully I'll do better tomorrow. Uh, anyway, if you like these videos and would like to see some more, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also hitting the like button and leaving a comment. And I shall see you again tomorrow for another daily challenge. Bye for now.